How to create a drop-down list in Google Sheets. The drop-down lists in Google Sheets are a really, really good way to input data into your data set and it also can prevent errors. Basically, there is two different ways to create a drop-down list. We can use separate lists to use within the drop-down, like the list that I have here. And it doesn't matter if your list are larger than mine with a thousand, two thousand, ten thousand different options. It's gonna work. And we can also see how to manually set the options within the drop-down lists. So we're gonna see basically two different ways to create a drop-down list in Google Sheets. Let's find out how can we do it step by step. Let's go. The first thing that I want to start here with is selecting the range that I want to use with the drop-down list. And I, even though I want to have some items such as item A, B, C within the range that I just selected here, it doesn't matter because it's going to work. So I select basically everything, all the, those cells that I want to use, and then I can click insert and then drop down. As you can see, the drop down is already here within the cell. And uh, here to the right, you can set the options. So let's say as the options, I have item A, B, C, and I also want to add another item that is the item D. And I can also change those colors. So the item A, it can be this reddish one. And the item B can be this yellow one and uh, on and on. And as you can see, whenever I choose one option, such as item D, the specific cell and the specific drop down list is going to contain the color that I specified before. So basically, this is how we can create a drop down list here in Google Sheets. But maybe this isn't the faster way to create a drop down list because let's say you have more than just four different options. You have 40 different options, 100, 1000 options to input in the list. So I think if you do it manually, it's maybe you're going to expand a lot of your time. So if you click here, criteria, drop down, and instead of using drop down, you can use drop down from a range. And now it's much easier. Instead of manually input all those options, you can select cells where you already have the options that you need to use. So let's say I have a couple of different cells with the information that I want to use in the drop down list. This can be either in this specific spreadsheet or it can be in a new sheet so let me create here add new sheet and that way in this sheet number seven i want to input the options that i'm gonna use and i'm done so this is the list that i want to use and it doesn't matter if your list is larger than mine because it's gonna work in the same way i'm gonna use here from item a up to item i and let me come back here to the sheet six now i can click in anywhere within the range that i selected before to use the drop down list and i can go here to the right drop down from a range now i can click here in this little square this little tile just click here and then we can select the data range let me click here in this blank bar and i can go to the sheet number seven and i can select everything in the column a like this or you can even select everything in the, in the entire column just click over the letter a because that way you can select literally everything. And whenever you input new options, all those new options are going to be automatically updated in the list. Let me click here. OK. And as you can see here to the right, all those options that we selected before now are appearing here. And uh, as the same way as before, you can also choose the color. So item A can be this red color. Item B can be this orange one. And then yellow, green, blue, and on and on. Let me click done. I can close this panel. And I can come back to sheet six where I need to input the items and uh, everything now is working properly. And the last but not least important information that we can learn here through the drop down list in Google Sheets is we can actually change the shape of the drop down list. So let me click in anywhere here within the range that I selected before and then I can go again, insert and drop down. As you can see, now it's going to open again the drop down settings that I did. So let me click now here, advanced options, because I can change a lot of new stuffs, such as the display style. I have this one here that is cheap, and then I have another one that is arrow, and it's very different than the previous one. And we also have the last option that is plain text, that is basically the cell itself without any type of arrow dial or anything like that so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and of course as you can see here i have a sales report with date item quantity price and note and let's say you want to bring it back as a result the price responding to the item so item d has a specific price item a has another specific price you can do it using the vlookup function or the x lookup function if you want to learn how to use vlookup or x lookup function I'm going to leave a free video in the description down below. Step by step from scratch, how to use VLOOKUP function, XLOOKUP function with practical examples. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you have any questions, 
or any suggestions to the next videos, let me know. Comment down below. And I see you tomorrow as every day has a new video. I see you there.